guys, what's up? It's the Animal Sisters, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Fortnite faceless GFX logo. This video was suggested by Team Obligate. I do not know how um, to say their channel name. Um, I'm sorry about that, but um, I think that's how you pronounce it. So, thank you for suggesting this video. So, what you want to do is... You want to go to Google Chrome. Then you want to type up Fortnite characters transparent background. And then you search that up. Then go to images. Then what you want to do is scroll down until you find your character. Oh, I like this character right here. Then you want to hold on it and save the image. Then what you want to do is you want to erase that and just type up background. Unsearch that up and then see I like this background right here. You don't have to use it I'm just using it save the image Then you want to get your channel name or whatever and you type up cooltext.com I'm gonna use the gunmetal one So all you need to do is press it and then you type up the logo text, like your channel name. I'm gonna just type up Animal Sisters. Just like that. And then what you wanna do is you press Create Logo. Then you hold on to it like you press it, and then you press Save Image. Then what you want to do is you want to go to Pixar and then you press the background that you have. Then what you want to do is go to crop and see mine has that little white stuff. I'm going to just crop that out. If yours doesn't have that, then don't do this. All right. So now you want to go to uh, tools and then you want to go to share crop, make the circle and make it as big as it can go and then press the arrow button and I'll just automatically make a border. You want a white border that's 11, like the size is 11, then save it. All right, then you press next, save, and then save again, then done. Then press the plus button again and find your Fortnite character and then you want to go to is you want to go to this thing called draw. There it is. Then you want to go to the face and you want to go to the color wheel thing. Use that little thing. Yeah. Press it and then use it to find the right skin color. Press the dot size 12. And that's what you need to do and then you just need to just mark out all the face features and stuff like the nose the mouth anything that has skin that's what you need to cut out perfect wait you need to fix it there so then press apply then go to the effects and press oil painting press it again then you want to make it go to 12, I think. Yeah, 12. Then press apply. Then you want to go to tools, share crop, make the circle. And you want to go to the upper part of the body, just like that. I'm just going to adjust it to make it the right size. That, that looks good. Alright, so then what you want to do is you want to, once you finish adjusting this, press the arrow. Press the black one and make the size go to zero. Then press save. Then press next. Save. And then save. Then press done. And then press the plus button again. Go to the circle you made. And go to add photo. And get the character you have 
and then you want to put a border on it, a white border, and make it go to size 11. And then you want to size up your character so like it fits in the circle. Like the head touches the top and then it fits in just like that. Let me just adjust it a little bit. Ah, uh, still need some fixing. Right about there. Wait. That looks good. So once you find the right size and stuff, you press apply. Then you want to um, upload or add a photo. Get your logo text. And then I'm just going to size it up sort of sideways. As you'll see in a sec. Then you guys can adjust it the way you'd like with your channel name or you could just follow my steps but not have the animal sister logo like the text. Then what you want to do is go to lens flare and get this lens right that's right there. And you see the little circle you just want to put it on the last letter or wherever you think the lens flare would look nice then you want to press apply and that's your logo so then what you want to do is you want to press apply or change anything make any last final changes apply then press next then press save save and it'll save to your camera roll you can check it out right there see it just saved and that's your faceless gfx logo thanks guys for watching please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and comment down below what you want our next video to be bye, bye.